I'm Sterling Lee, how are you? Good to see you. Um, what made you decide to help Chinese Indonesians? Well, you know, there's always this kind of perception that, well, if you are uh, Chinese in one country, then you are separate from other Chinese mm -hmm. in other countries. But I sort of take a sort of broader view of that in the sense that we're all Chinese. And it doesn't matter if you're in one country versus another country, one government versus another. I think that there is a bond that we all have with one another. And the kinds of pain and suffering that anybody goes through, you don't want that to happen to you. And so there is um, this sort of, uh, I think, an understanding of a commonality among Chinese. And that's part of the reason why I think uh, when I was. Uh, when I heard about uh, the the the, the, the treatment of what was going on uh, with the Chinese in Indonesia, I jumped at the opportunity to do whatever I can to help. Okay, so uh, what do you know about what happened to the Chinese in Indonesia? Today? Well, you know, to, to to be honest, I, I was rather surprised that mm -hmm. uh, um, that one based on your documents uh, could identify you know whether or not you were Chinese or not. And all that does is to sort of single you out. It targets you because there's a way of identifying uniquely whether or not you're Chinese or non-Chinese. And I think that those are the kinds of situations uh, that, that any human being sort of gets a little bit nervous because that's when the government can, in fact, target certain groups of individuals. And those kinds of, I, I, I think, unfair treatment, those kinds of discriminatory practices are not things that we accept here in America. And I don't think that uh, anybody else should accept them. So those are the things that I found out about uh, about how Chinese were treated in Indonesia. Right. And of course, all the atrocities that happened. Uh, and that was uh, you know, rather unfortunate and rather distasteful. And wanted to do what we can to prevent that from happening ever again. Right, right. Yeah. So what have you done to help the Chinese Indonesia in, in regards to the main? Well, we, we, we have conveyed, you know, I as a member of the Board of Supervisors then and the mm -hmm. Assembly and now in the Senate have on a number of occasions visited with the uh, Council General of, uh, uh, for Indonesia here and to convey, I think, uh, uh, the difficulty that I have with uh, how Chinese are being treated in Indonesia um, and to continue to kind of express that particular position and to hope that the uh, government of Indonesia understands that uh, if they are going to have you know, normalized relationship and good relationship, particularly with California, which is an important trade partner, that uh, they need to uh, uh, consider uh, how they deal with all individuals uh, in their country. Okay. So, in your perspective, what do you think about the way the Indonesian government handled the situation? Well, unfortunately, uh, my understanding is that, um, well, uh, it is a lot better than it used to be. I think there's a free exchange of information. Mm -hmm. There's not the discriminatory activities related to the fact that you're Chinese. I think that's a good step uh, uh, forward. But I think one of the things that in this country uh, we pride ourselves in is that it is extremely important that you own up to what happened in the past. That if you don't somehow do that, it is really difficult to deal with you in the present. I think that the government uh, within Indonesia, you know, need to own up to some of the um, uh, 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 bad things that happened. You know, the mm -hmm. the the rapes that happened, the killings, uh, the uh, uh, taking away of property and business, and so on. I mean, all of those things have to be accounted for. I mean, in the United States, uh, finally, we have come to terms with uh, what we did with the Japanese and how we interned them and we need to pay reparations you know, for that. So those are the kinds of sets of behavior and standards that we expect here in America. And uh, if we are going to deal with other countries, I think we expect those kinds of behavior to also occur in those countries. Right. So what do you hope for the future of Chinese Indonesia? Well, you know, I hope for Chinese in Indonesia uh, just as I hope for Chinese here in America. I hope that uh, that it really doesn't matter if you're Chinese or non-Chinese in o Indonesia, that you're accepted. It doesn't matter what your religion may be. It mm -hmm. doesn't matter what your background may be. That everybody is given a, an opportunity uh, to succeed and to grow your family, grow your business in Indonesia. You mean having the privilege of saying rights. Exactly. Yeah. And then 
not yeah. you know not only in private life but also public life that that there are going to be Chinese uh, part of uh, different levels of government in Indonesia so that everyone feels that they've got an opportunity to uh, uh, um, uh, make it in Indonesia and I think that the Indonesian government needs to understand that when you get the very brightest and the best of individuals that your country will flourish and that is what is so important to allow people to continue to do what they want to do and uh, look at how they can help their country. Right. So what is your message to the Indonesian, Chinese Indonesians? Well, you know, that, that, that whatever happens in Indonesia uh, is some, that, that, that is a concern to all of us and that we are also watching and that the world is watching how they are being dealt with and so that they need to understand that they're not alone that, uh, that, that in my blood flows Chinese and in their blood flows Chinese, and there, there is that bond. And then there's a larger community, too, here in the United States and throughout the world that you know, really emphasize the importance of, of democracy, freedom, and human rights. And that's also very, very important, that we don't tolerate you know, countries uh, that somehow diminishes you know, people's dignity because somehow you may uh, be somewhat different. And, and, and the Chinese in Indonesia need to understand that there are many, many individuals that are right there, ready to help and be supportive of them. Okay, great. I think that's all we need from you, sir. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure.